Hostile radar in the air. Right, KIA. All right, what's going on guys? It's GCP here. And did you guys see that intro? I mean, honestly, that is the culture here in modern campfire. This is what the game encourages you to do because as you guys saw, he had a claymore set up there. And once that triggered, he was already waiting with his sights up. He was already waiting for somebody to trigger it and then he could finish them off. That's what modern campfire encourages you to do. It's going to benefit you to do that in this game. And you can obviously replenish your claymores and rinse and repeat and do the exact same things. And it's going to be very difficult for people to flank you. So this game encourages you to play like that. And it is getting seriously so annoying. And honestly, as a rusher, I try to move in this game. But it seems like I get punished every single time I do, especially with this whole skill-based matchmaking system. Because when I get to a lobby that maybe is not as skilled as I am, I'm able to obviously get a better score, right? Because I'm just able to do a lot better, you know, get more kills, and I'm able to take advantage of lesser skilled people. And then, once I get a high KD for taking advantage of those players, you know, players who actually move, because that's what I've noticed, players who are maybe bots or noobs or something like that they somewhat move or maybe I just outplay them in gun skill whatever the case may be then I get matched up with players with the higher skill bracket I'm using air quotes here because higher skill according to your KD is not really higher skill in this game because in this game it seems like the campers the people who play the most passive get the high KDs Right? Because all they're doing is sitting there, picking people off, and getting high KDs. Sometimes only getting one or two deaths, and then getting 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, who knows how many kills. But they're getting a high KD, right? Because they're not dying. They're picking people off, and they're camping. So these are the types of lobbies that I'm getting into. These are the types of people that I'm getting matched or paired up with so the higher you get put in to the skill based matchmaking or the higher you rank the higher your KD is the campier those lobbies are going to be because those people don't have superior gunplay to me those people don't move they're not better to me in any single way they literally are not the only thing they're better than me at is camping and that's because this game encourages that and it gets them that high KD which they so crave. I mean honestly I cannot stand the skill based matchmaking in this game. And the developers, oh my goodness man. These developers are so freaking ignorant. I have never seen such ignorance in my life. I have never seen these developers of Infinity Ward be as ignorant as they are not even wanting to change not wanting to acknowledge skill based matchmaking whenever the topic is discussed or people on twitter people on reddit discuss skill based matchmaking or ask about it they don't respond they respond to bugs glitches you know stuff that should have been fixed before the game even freaking came out right but guess what they will address those things but they won't address skill based matchmaking and oh my lord is it thick in this game Every time I do good in a lobby, I get paired up with these sweats. These sweats who will literally stay in one spot, hold it down, and just wait there the whole game. And then, when I get a negative KD, because I'm honestly getting camped on, every time I move, I'm dying, and honestly, I'm doing really, really bad. Then I go back to another match, and I'm paired up with noobs or bots right where i'm able to actually rush and a lot of people have been doing exactly that people just have been killing themselves you know the suicide has been crazy the suicide rate because of reverse boosting people have been reverse boosting to get paired up with noobs or people of less skill so that way they don't have to face 
All these sweats, the constant camping that's going on in this game. They don't have to worry about that as much. So that's why they have been doing that. And honestly, the latest stat that came out shows that the suicide rates here in Modern Campfire are extremely high. And of course they would be. Honestly, people are taking advantage of reverse boosting, even pub stompers. Pub stompers are doing that so that way they can get new gameplay, so that way they can get these high scoring gameplays to show on their channel. And I don't blame them. I really don't. Because the only way that you do well in this game is if you get into these noob lobbies. If you do well, God forbid you do well in this game by actually moving, you're going to get paired up with people of quote unquote higher skill higher kd to match you up with people of equal skill to you right more like camping that's exactly what it is dude and i've been getting into matches where <laughs> you think i have a high kd i get paired up with quote unquote high kd players but all i see in those lobbies is non-movement People head glitching every single corner of the map or wherever they can. Dark corners where they can camp. People with claymores just setting up in their spot and not moving all freaking game. This is what this game has turned into, man. And also recently, I believe there was a YouTuber who asked the developers about the minimap because as you guys know, the red dots don't appear on the minimap when you're firing. So then again, you don't even know where you're getting shot from sometimes. So that is something that they said they were not going to change. Like, oh my god, dude. Really? Why change that in the beginning? And then not acknowledge that it's a problem? And then refuse to change it? Thus encouraging people to keep continuing to camp? The ignorance of these developers, man. It's unbelievable. It really blows my mind why these developers don't acknowledge the fact that camping is a huge problem in this game. I mean, first of all, look at this. Look at this, dude. This is what I'm talking about. You saw that guy in the corner over there? <laughs> That's what I get into in this game. Man. I mean, why not, right? This game encourages you to do that. It's really a surprise to me that the developers are not willing to acknowledge that they've made a campy title. And on Twitter, I said that these developers keep it in the game, keep it heavy in the game, because maybe they're not skillful enough to be able to compete with the community. So that's why they keep it. I mean, are the developers even good Call of Duty players or not? I'm honestly pretty curious about that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these developers are actually good at the game or are they not? Maybe they're taking advantage of skill-based matchmaking. Now, I do understand that they want to protect the noobs but it's just way too much in this game you guys are not encouraging these players to get any better i remember in lobbies in past call of duty games where i would get smacked some lobbies then i would try to learn from that and improve i mean right out the gate when i first started black ops 1 i was not the best player that skill came by getting into lobbies where I had not only great players who beat me down, but players where I could take advantage of and where I was actually better than them. So that stuff is back and forth, back and forth. That's how you learn. The main concept here is, the main thing is, you want to get matched up with all types of players. You don't want to constantly go and play with sweats all the time. You don't constantly want to play against bots. There should be an equal balance of the two instead of having it all one-sided. I've just been severely annoyed with this whole process and just the way the developers are handling their game. And honestly, I'm not being rewarded for being a good player. Honestly, I know I'm a decent player at this game. And it seems like every time I do well, I get punished. Because guess what? The next match that I play after getting a high score game or a good KD is going to be a match or a lobby filled with campers with supposedly high KDs that will not let you move, will not let you rush, will not let you play aggressive. And that is not how a casual game like Call of Duty should be played.
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the comp today, make sure you guys hit that like button. And let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. With that being said, this is GCP signing off.